Imagine a man who has spent years in hiding, exposing the deepest secrets of governments, challenging the very foundations of power. Julian Assange, a name synonymous with controversy, is a figure who has sparked global debate. But why does America want to silence him? Today, we unveil the gripping tale of a modern-day whistleblower, a tale that will leave you questioning everything you know about freedom, secrecy, and justice. Julian Assange, who co-founded website WikiLeaks, had sought sanctuary in Ecuador's embassy from extradition to Sweden and to the US. But who exactly is Assange, and what has he been accused of? Julian Assange, why America wants to kill this man. How it all began. Julian Assange was born in Townsville, Australia in 1971. His parents ran a touring theater, and his childhood was filled with a lot of controversies. He became a father at 18, later becoming entangled in custody battles. He showed an aptitude for computers and was fined several thousand Australian dollars in 1995 after pleading guilty to hacking activities. However, Assange avoided jail on the condition that he would not re-offend. As time went by, he went on to help write a book about the internet before studying physics and maths at Melbourne University. In 2006, Assange co-founded the whistleblowing website WikiLeaks along with a group of like-minded people from across the internet. The site published thousands of classified documents covering everything from the film industry to national security and war. One of its most high-profile releases came in 2010 when it published a video from a U.S. military helicopter that showed the killing of 18 civilians in Baghdad, Iraq. In the same year, WikiLeaks published hundreds of thousands of documents leaked by former U.S. Army intelligence analyst Chelsea Manning. The documents revealed how the U.S. military had killed hundreds of civilians in unreported incidents during the war in Afghanistan. Files from the Iraq War show that 66,000 civilians had been killed and that prisoners had been tortured by Iraqi forces. From the time, the U.S. government made it clear that they would prosecute Assange over the leak of the secret files. How did Sweden get involved? Sweden issued an international arrest warrant for Assange over allegations of sexual assault in 2010. He was detained in the UK and later bailed over the allegations. It followed claims that while on a visit to Stockholm to give a lecture, Assange had raped one woman and sexually molested and coerced another. However, Assange says both encounters were entirely consensual and the Swedish efforts against him are part of a smear campaign. Following a long legal battle, the WikiLeaks founder took refuge in Ecuador's embassy in 2012 to avoid being taken to Sweden to be questioned. He argued that he could also be extradited to the US and put on trial for publishing the secret US documents. The Ecuadorian embassy was an obvious choice since the South American country's then-president Rafael Correa was a strong advocate for WikiLeaks. Moreover, the Swedish prosecutors dropped the rape investigation into Assange in 2017 because they were unable to formally notify him of the allegations while he stayed in the embassy. The two other charges of molestation and unlawful coercion had to be dropped in 2015 because time had run out. But even after Sweden dropped the charges, Assange stayed in the embassy as he still faced a UK charge of failing to surrender to a court. Before withdrawing Assange's asylum, Ecuador accused him of improper behavior, interference in the affairs of other countries, and spying. Then, Prime Minister Theresa May welcomed Assange's arrest, saying it showed that no one is above the law in the UK. But Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn said Assange had revealed evidence of atrocities in Iraq and Afghanistan and that his extradition to the US should be opposed by the British government. 
Shadow Home Secretary Diane Abbott said Assange should face the criminal justice system if Swedish authorities decide to charge him. What do his supporters say? Assange's lawyer Jennifer Robinson said they would fight the U.S. extradition request. She said it set a dangerous precedent where any journalist could face U.S. charges for publishing truthful information about the United States. Julian Assange's charges At the moment, Assange faces legal action in three countries, the UK, Sweden, and the US. In related news, Westminster Magistrates Court found him guilty of a British charge of breaching bail on Thursday. He faces up to 12 months in prison for that conviction. Meanwhile, Swedish authorities have said they're considering reopening their investigation into sexual assault allegations against them. The U.S. has already charged them with a single count of participating in the hacking of intelligence computers to reveal controversial intelligence operations in the United States. But he is likely to face more charges if he is extradited to the U.S., a decision that will be taken by a judge and the U.K. Home Secretary. If Sweden also makes an extradition request, one legal expert has said it would be for the Home Secretary to decide which request would take precedence. What does Julian Assange have to say about this? Well, the man behind WikiLeaks says he's the victim of a U.S. conspiracy to punish him for exposing alleged U.S. war crimes. Assange set up WikiLeaks in 2006 to expose secrets that he and others thought should be exposed, including alleged U.S. war crimes in Iraq and Afghanistan. But the U.S. says the leaks broke the law and endangered lives. By this time, the U.S. had launched an investigation into the publishing of the documents relating to Iraq and Afghanistan, and later sought to press charges and extradite Assange from the U.K. Manning, a former U.S. Army intelligence analyst, was sentenced to 35 years in prison for her part in the leaks, but eventually served seven when passed U.S. President Barack Obama commuted her sentence. She was later sent back to prison in March 2019 for refusing to testify against WikiLeaks and was ordered to be released around a year later. Meanwhile, relations between Assange and Ecuador had began to sour amid accusations from President Lenin Moreno of repeated violations at the embassy. It resulted in Assange being evicted, and he was filmed in April 2019 being dragged from the building. Where is Julian Assange now? As aforementioned, Assange was found guilty of skipping bail and pending the U.S. request for extradition, and he was taken to Belmarsh Prison. The judge accepted the case from the defense team that it would be oppressive to allow Assange to be sent to a solitary confinement facility in America when considering the state of his mental health. Assange, now a father of two, is said to have experienced suicidal ideation in Belmarsh and has been diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder and depression. The court also heard how the WikiLeaks founder had planned for the end of his life. Noting this, Baraitser said Assange came across as a depressed and sometimes despairing man who would be deemed a high suicide risk. She said she believed he had the intellect and determination to circumvent suicide protection measures if he so wished. Is this a win for press freedom? Not really. In her ruling, Judge Bereitzer upheld the majority of the prosecution's arguments to extradite Assange, which included saying he could not rely on protections of free speech and freedom of the press. She said this was because several of his actions had been outside the remit of a journalist and would have violated the Official Secrets Act if prosecuted in the UK. Therefore, the case was completely reliant on Assange's mental health rather than press freedom and is what ultimately swung the decision in his favor. Moreover, Julian Assange is currently held in Belmarsh Prison in London and he is dangerously close to US extradition after losing his latest legal appeal. His lawyers say they will appeal again to the same court, amid growing fears he could spend the rest of his life in prison. According to his brother, 
These times are always very hard for Julian in the prison. He's obviously focused on this next appeal, but he's not doing well. This saga's been going on 13 years, and it's taking its toll on his body and on his mind. If convicted, Assange faces a combined total sentence of up to 175 years in prison. As we conclude this eye-opening journey into the life and controversies surrounding Julian Assange, one thing is clear, the battle for his freedom is far from over. Now, it's your turn. Do you believe Assange is a victim or a criminal?